I'm trying to unmount this silly little audio transformer, but the screws are giving me a hard time. Um, the quality of the screws definitely leaves uh, something to desire about. I mean, uh, first of all, the tension on the screws is humongous. Uh, so I really have to put a lot of force on the screw to un undo it or to unscrew it. And uh, it's really not not easy at all. So, uh, huh. well, uh, I tried to spray some, uh, how to say, some uh, degripping oil on it but that really didn't help very much so um, well maybe I'll cut the screw through and buy uh, another couple of screws maybe or maybe I'll just use some of the uh, stainless steel screws I used uh, to attach the new tube socket uh, they are not exactly the same thing like uh, those little rivets they use but you know what the heck I mean uh, they're stainless uh, stainless steel they won't rust they won't oxidize so that's great and I have a little bit of of room to play with so I think I can manage with um, the stainless steel screws I bought. Uh, I can even flatten their heads slightly by uh, passing them s uh, lightly over the over a metal grinder. So uh, yeah, well, uh, stay tuned for the next episode uh, when I'll finally manage to wrestle this uh, silly, ugly little transformer out of the radio. Stay tuned, guys. Uh, just a short update, guys. Well, uh, as you can see, I unmounted quite a bit of parts. Uh, I just need to unmount this resistor, and then all the old parts are gone. But this is, once again, a clear case where if you want to change this part you need to undo that part yeah but if you want to undo that part you need to undo this part and if you want to undo this part you want to undo that part so this seems to be a recurring uh, theme really that is that uh, those radios these radios are built in such a way um, you might say in a layered sort of way that if you need to change a specific part you need to undo a lot of other parts before that so that once again proves the point that you do need to document as much as you can what you're doing because once you start taking out parts uh, and you don't take pictures um, it's going to make your life a lot harder even with the schematic so uh, take plenty of pictures it'll be a big help